Hello everyone and welcome to part 3. We are uh, currently doing the swiping so now we are in the step event here I want to do the swapping so in order to do that I can just write the script here but in order to make it look fancy and cool I will just go and create a script and call it script swipe okay and here we want to pass our variables and do the swiping so first thing I want to do in this swiping is to determine the position that we want to travel to and that would be the XX and YY so and uh, I can draw them uh, I can just put them right here but I want to teach you how to use um, how to draw arguments from outside the script so we want to say xx equals arguments 0 and yy equals argument 1 so we would be drawing these argument these variables these values from outside this script and we want to put them here I'll just show you this, this might be confusing for you now. So here we, we swiped, so we say swiped equals true and dragging equals false, so enough dragging. Then we want to locate the candy that is either above us to the right to the left and to the bottom. So we say var candy equals instance position x ah, we, we don't want to use x and y here we want to use our dragged value so we say xx yy and object uh, candy okay then we want to tell this object that we just found to come and swap its position with our position so we say candy dot xx equals our position and uh, candy dot yy equals our y position sorry i said x here great then we want uh, this candy to be moving and by default default it is uh, stable so we want to undo that so we say candy dot stable equals to false and candy dot swiped equals to true great then we just come here and we swap candies so we say script swipe and we give it the values the argument so we can just use this and it's exactly this because we want to give it our current x position and uh, the position uh, not no, sorry not our uh, current position we want to give it the position of uh, of the candy that that we want to swap with good so if i say script swiped and copy this and put it here do the same here swipe and give it this value and do the same here and give it this value fantastic now, we here determine the position uh, that we want to move towards. Now, uh, the only thing that is left is just moving. So we say here, if swiped, okay, then move, else, if you're not swipe, do this. So want to take this and put it here now we want to move so we say 
uh, move towards point and we want to give it the position and we say x x y y and uh, our speed so we say speed then we want to check if we have arrived at this position so we say if x equals x x and y equals uh, y y then we don't want to keep moving so we say swiped equals false and stable equals true fantastic actually you know what I don't want to set stable we will uh, oh, I forgot since we are using move towards point we are having speed so we want to set our speed back to zero great I think that's it so let me just go and run the game and see if everything is working fine so if I click here yes we are swiping between objects and it's working just fantastically the only thing that is left is to check and see if our swapping is matching with any other candy and what I mean by is if I swipe here uh, if I swap this candy with this one I want this to check and see if the surrounding candies are matching this candy so if I swap this now these three must get uh, uh, how to say this checked as uh, matching candies okay so let's ju just go and do that actually let me come here to our tile set and I did a brush and <laughs> this is a very lame brush and eh? oh, this is better okay good so now we want to check so if we have finished swiping so here we, we do this here so if we, if we have arrived at this position we want to execute some code and say okay now you can check and see so we want to create a script and call it um, script find match okay inside this script now pay attention this is a very very complicated script because we are checking for uh, object at four different directions and we want to find these objects so uh, just pay attention to what I'm saying then try to copy the code or use the code first just understand the logic beha behind this script now before everything I want to use a variable and it's called no match so we have nothing matching so we say no match equals false okay then here sorry here we want to initialize this variable too so we say no match equals true because we're not matching anything and once we call this script we want to uncheck this because we might have a match then in between after we write the script if nothing happens we want to set this back to true this is absolutely confusing <laughs> right now but just bear with me let me just send this away good now we want to define some temporary variables the first uh, variables are just to find uh, the candies that are surrounding us so we say 
var then we want to take the top candies let me just say a and run the game and show you this in real time okay unfortunately this is can i keep this on top i cannot so what we are doing is we want to check for uh, let's say we, we swapped this with this now this wants to run a script and check for the surrounding candies and which candies should be checked for let me tell you this 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 and this this and this and this and this so it's just a big plus sign and the total of the candies that are being checked is eight different candies good so uh, we are checking the top two so we say here var top one okay equals zero and var top two equals zero then var left so we're moving to the left left one equals zero and var left two equals zero then var bottom one equals zero and var bottom two equals zero var right one equals zero and var right two equals zero now what are these now this is our main object this is this is top one this is top two this is left one this is left two this is bottom one this is bottom two this is right one this is right two and we are checking for these candies right now now additionally to this we have wings so we have the top wing, the right wing, the left wing, the bottom wing. So we want to define these two. So we say the top wing, say var top wing equals zero or equals to false or zero. It's the same actually. And var, uh, let's say left wing equals zero var, uh, bottom wing equals zero and var right wing equals zero now let me show you a cool thing let's say we want to change all the zeros okay so if I select the the thing that I want to change and press control F this uh, box shows up and if I click here I can replace you see it says toggle to replace and I put the text that I want to replace with so we say false okay and I click here if I click here it will just change one of them but if I click here it will change replace all of them so let me click in now as you see I replaced all these zeros by false actually it's the same a zero is the same as false and one is the same as true okay now i think this is enough for today and we will be continuing doing this in the next video so thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next part